everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and today I'm going to show you how to use the ECG app with your Fitbit Sense. So if you don't have the ECG app installed on your Sense yet, go ahead and check out my previous video which shows you how to install the ECG app on your Fitbit Sense. That'll be listed down below or a little card in the upper right hand corner. So first thing you need to do is you'll find the ECG app in your list of apps. If you're coming from the previous video, this was the previous setup, so I'll just start from there. So I'll go ahead and tap on ECG. And it's telling me, set up on phone. Open your Fitbit app and go to the Discover tab. Find Assessments and Reports. So I'm going to get out of this app section by scrolling up. Now there's a little back arrow. I'll tap that. And... I'll go ahead and tap back again here in the upper left hand corner to get to the accounts and then tap once more again to get back to the main dashboard screen. And so here you see that we're on the today tab, but we need to go to the discover tab. So that's right here. Might look a little bit different on iPhone, but go ahead and tap on that. And it says, find assessments and reports. So I'm assuming it's going to be one of these. So guided programs, challenge and adventures. There we go. Assessments and reports. Looks like we might have to. There we go. We swipe a little bit to the left. Now it says, check your ECG, heart rhythm assessment, and then start. So I don't know if I need to have this on my wrist, but right now I'll go ahead and tap it without having it on my wrist. Okay, so it gives us a little bit of information. Heart rhythm assessment, 30 seconds on wrist assessment. Irregular heart rhythm can affect health. Analyze your heartbeat for signs of atrial fibrillation, AFib, and irregular heart rhythm. It says this has been validated in a clinical study. It is easy to use and you can share your results. Only a doctor can diagnose AFib, but your Fitbit device can let you know if your heart rhythm has signs of the condition. And then you can read on your own what is AFib and the possible symptoms. But I'm going to go ahead and tap on Get Started. So it says, before you continue, this assessment only analyzes for signs of an irregular heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation or AFib. Please confirm the following. I'm 22 years or older. I don't have a pacemaker. I understand this assessment can't detect heart attack, blood clots, stroke, or other heart conditions. And I understand this assessment isn't a diagnosis. So I do understand all of those things. Hopefully you do too. And if you don't, qualify for one of those, for example, you're under 22 or you have a pacemaker, you can tap on leave assessment. Otherwise, go ahead and tap I confirm. All right, so it's going to show us how it works. The rhythm your heart makes can be detected by the electrical sensors on your Fitbit device. This data is analyzed for signs of AFib, an irregular heart rhythm. Okay, the electrical sensors are on the back of the watch and on the metal frame around the watch face. So they're saying this portion of the back of the watch, the reflective portion, and then this stainless steel portion around the bezel or frame of the watch. When these sensors are in contact with your skin and the ECG app is open, they record the electrical signals from your heartbeat. When the heart is in AFib, the upper chambers of the heart contract irregularly, increasing the risk of heart attack, blood clots, stroke, and other heart conditions. I'll go ahead and tap next. Results you might see. Normal sinus rhythm. Your heart rhythm appears normal. It doesn't show signs of AFib and irregular heart rhythm. Atrial fibrillation. Your heart rhythm shows signs of AFib and irregular heart rhythm. AFib can have serious health effects. You should contact your doctor. Inconclusive, if your heart rate is over 120 beats per minute or under 50 beats per minute, the heart rhythm assessment can't assess your heart rhythm. There are many possible reasons for getting an inconclusive result, but common causes are moving too much during the assessment or not resting your hand on a table. This assessment is not a diagnosis. Go 
go ahead and tap on next. All right, so now it's saying, open the ECG app on your watch. Wear your watch snugly, but with enough room for comfort. Let it sit a finger width above your wrist bone. For more info, watch the video. So I don't want to get a, a copyright strike here, so I don't know that I will show you the video, but I will go ahead and place the watch on my wrist how they're asking, snugly but with enough room for comfort, a finger width above your wrist bone. So I'll go ahead and do that like so. So there's about one finger width above the wrist bone. So I'll go ahead and um, open the ECG app on your watch, I guess. So I'll wake up my watch and swipe all the way over. ECG app, I'll go ahead and press that. And okay, there we go. It says take heart rhythm assessment ready. So I'll go ahead and press, I guess I'll just go ahead and do it on the watch. So I'm gonna tap ready. Which wrist is your watch on? This is on my left wrist. Have a seat. Try to relax and keep your hands still. I'm technically standing, so we shall see. Maybe I'll move the phone out of the way and rest my hand here on the table. So I'll go ahead and say I'm sitting. Put index finger and thumb on the metal corners. Keep your hands still and it's counting down. Right, data collected, analyzing, I assume I can remove my fingers. And there we go, that was my first ECG assessment, or I guess they call it heart rhythm assessment with the Fitbit Sense. It says I have a normal sinus rhythm. My heart rhythm appears normal. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. Don't change your medications based on this result. This app can't detect heart attack, blood clot, stroke, or other heart conditions. If you think you're having a medical emergency, call an emergency services. Download a PDF of your result from the Fitbit mobile app. So you can either press learn more or done. I have a feeling Fitbit's doing this new thing where they kind of, you press learn more and it shows something in your app. So I'm gonna leave that open for a second. I'm going to press done on my app. And then I'm going to press learn more on my sense. Ah, okay. So it's just telling you more about normal sinus rhythm. A normal sinus rhythm means that your heart beats in a regular rhythm. This result applies only to this specific 30 second reading. The app can't detect your heart rhythm when not in use. If you're not feeling well, you should contact your doctor. Okay, I'll go ahead and tap on back. And then I'll tap on done. All right, so just to see if I go back to the Discover tab and I click on Start, I guess that's not where I share the results. Maybe you have to have Premium to get the PDF. I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't see anything. Nothing seems to have been logged on my Fitbit app that I know of. If I go back to the ECG app, tap on it, tap on it. <laughs> now they don't go, sorry for the blurriness. Now they don't go through the onboarding again. So that's good to know. You only have to do that one time. So. That is how you take your heart rhythm assessment with the ECG app on the Fitbit Sense. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps this video and my channel and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Sense, Fitbit and other wearable content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.